It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about the area of a parallelogram, A equals BH. So we're going to identify the base and the height of our parallelogram. Here's our practice problem. Jana drew a parallelogram that has the dimensions shown. We're asked, what is the area of Jana's parallelogram? So here's where you're going to pause the video. You're going to find the area of the parallelogram, select your answer choice, and come back and hit play to see my work. Go ahead and pause. Good luck. Welcome back. We're finding the area of a parallelogram. And off my math reference sheet, I'm going to tell you that the area of a parallelogram, the formula is A equals BH. When we read this formula, we're recognizing that there's an invisible multiplication sign between the B and the H, and B multiplied by H is equal to the area of our parallelogram. Now we're going to go and identify the base first. So the base of our parallelogram is just think of it as the bottom. So it's this side right here. And we know that we need to do 3 plus 6 to get the entire base. So 3 plus 6 is equal to our base. 3 plus 6 is 9. So we know that our base of our par parallelogram is 9 inches. Now we want to identify the height. Height is always perpendicular to the base. So we're going to look at this dimension right here and notice that it's perpendicular. That's what that little box means right there. That's a right angle or 90 degrees, making it perpendicular to the base. So we know that 8 inches is h the height. Now we're ready to use our formula. So a is going to be equal to 9 of our base multiplied by our height of 8. 9 times 8 is 72, telling us that our correct answer is D, 72 square inches. Thanks for joining me today to discover about the area of a parallelogram where the height is always perpendicular to the base, giving us a formula of A equals BH. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.